In my opinion, net revenue retention is the premium way to look at churn for software businesses. It's much better than gross revenue retention, which we featured in another video, or logo retention, which was featured in a further video as well. And the reason why is because it captures more elements of churn than any of those other metrics. Let's start with the definition first or the formula. So net revenue retention is beginning of period monthly recurring revenue or MRR minus your lost MRR minus your downside downsell MRR plus your upsell MRR divided by your beginning of period MRR. And let's go through each of those components in, in detail and give you an example. So beginning of period MRR, let's say it's 10,000. Your last MRR, you lose $500. This is customers that actually churned or terminated using your software. Downsell MRR is where a customer has used to take $1,000 a month. Now they take $500 a month. The downsell is $500. And then upsell MRR is the opposite to downsell MRR. Customers that actually took more, uh, paid more per month than they previously did. This might be adding seats or um, uh, price increases or upgrading plans. And let's say the upsell MRR here is $1,000. So how does this formula work? Well, it's the beginning of period MRR minus your lost MRR minus your downsell MRR plus your upsell MRR divided by your beginning of period MRR. And so that gives you a net revenue retention of 